LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. And guys, definitely got a special guest here uh, this morning, uh, all the way from the Netherlands. Okay, I got Miss Denise uh, Dynamite Kills. Uh, she's the Bellator kickboxing champion. How you doing this morning? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so I just, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it because I know we're doing it. Uh, we're getting in this thing early. Um, how did you actually start your training? Like, who who got you started? Like, wh how did you start kickboxing? Well, I first started with judo when I was nine years old. And then when I was like 16, 17 years old, I saw on television, I saw a fight of Lucia Rijker. And then I saw her fight and I think, whoa, uh, I didn't know that girls also can fight like that. And in that time, my judo trainer told me, yeah, you can do another sport to, um, to work on a little bit on your condition. And then I started with kickboxing and I, I started with a few of fights, but I have to stop because um, with my judo, I was not done yet and I cannot combinate the two, uh, the two, the two sports. So when I was 19 years old, I started kickboxing again and then till now still doing it and still loving it and uh, still doing what I love. And I, I'm glad that, uh, that I picked the kickboxing game again up and till now. Okay. Okay, so now you you are currently right now, and and I had to look this up. You're 47 and three, okay, in a kickboxing. Yes. That's like a yeah. that's staggering because I was telling another person like, if you get over 40 wins in kickboxing, that means that you are, I mean, you're definitely doing a lot of things right, and that's that's just staggering. Like, do you ever sit back and say, you know what, I'm about to, I'm I'm getting closer and closer to 50 wins. I want to accomplish uh, the 50 wins is I want to win everything. <laughs> it's not that I count my wins. It's just that I don't count my loses. And um, I think that um, I still, I still not there. And I still don't think that I'm, I'm all that and I'm there yet. So I think that's also my strain. I always want to train to want to be better. I want to be stronger. I want to be faster. I want to be, quicker so yeah the, it's not that i want to say okay i have 50 wins and now it's okay no i want to win everything and i still think that the three losses is uh the last time that i lost it was was not right and i make that mistake up and i think all the three losses that i have i have a, i had a rematch and i still beat the girls up so the three losses i still don't think that in my eyes is three losses so Every fight is for me a win. Okay. Mindset of a champion. Mindset of a, I mean, yeah. mindset of a champion. So you literally thought that those fights, the judges took those fights from you, those three losses. Yes. Yes, for sure. And then after those fights, I had the rematch. And, I, and in, the, in the all three of the fights, the rematch was the win for me. So, yeah, that was a statement from the first time you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay. So, okay. So the judges took those fights. So, you know, definitely your mind, you hadn't lost any fights. So, Hey, that's, that, that's a good mindset to have. So now, yeah. now your husband, he also fights as well, right? Yeah. 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 He also fights. Yeah. We are uh, like a big fighting family. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I could imagine, you know, you guys go out together and, you know, y'all hang out and you guys can keep the peace, you know, with all this martial arts that you and your husband know. <laughs> now, he, he just had a fight just recently, didn't he? Yeah. 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 Last Saturday, he, uh, he had a fight yeah, here in Amsterdam also. Okay. Okay. So now, is he like your coach or do you have like your own, do you guys have separate coaches? The, the same straight and condition coach, Michel van Halder. So we train our condition together, but he has a, another schedule than me. But uh, most of the times we are together. And also with training, we have uh, now I also wrestle and BA, so I have also a ground trainer. But uh, most of the time we train together, like the condition and straight training, and we do together. So, um, yeah, we are... Uh, like uh, like uh, like the same, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. 
they say, yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys are inseparable. That's that's good. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now judo. Okay. So a, a lot of people don't even know that you got a, a judo background. They just think that you're a kickboxer. So like, how long have you been actually doing the MMA part of your fight game? Last time um, I, I have a uh, wrestle uh, wrestle training, and then the, the coach told me, "Oh, your um, your wrestling is good." I but they, most of the people don't know that I have a judo background. So the first thing I have a black belt judo, and first thing that I have connected with the, with with the fight game is judo. So. I have some skills on the ground and also to uh, to shoot people to the ground. So yeah, it's not nothing that I don't know that I'm nothing that I don't not know nothing about. So um, yeah, the judo is my is my first thing is is my first background. But people don't know that because they see me only as a kickboxer. But that's why I. I love to step up now in the octagon and to uh, to see what uh, that that I also have some skills on the ground. Okay, so how many fights have you actually had inside of the octagon? Well, um, none. <laughs> I have no no fights in a real octagon or a real cage, but uh, I have one MMA fight, and it was uh, a couple of years ago. And I I I um the the fight went go well. I I uh, fight against a Brazilian girl, and I throw her on the ground, and then on the ground. She was better than me. That I have to. That I have to say. And she put put me in the armbar, and it was over. Oh. But the fight in the beginning went really good. You know, I stand up, I throw her to the ground, I get in the in the between her legs, and then she gives me a like a strange like a like a like a snake armbar when I stand up. And yeah, I have to recognize that. At that time, I still think that um, uh, I trained MMA, but I have not really like a game plan, you know. And uh, still, my game plan is that I want to stand up because my boxing skills and my my stand up game is my is my my is my straight. And that's what I have to um, to do in the in the cage. Like Johanna, she's like a kickboxer. She's a really good kickboxer, but she. Her straight is her is her stand up game, and that's what I'm gonna do the same, you know. And uh, yeah, it was a lesson that I learned, but now I know what my game plan is, and my game plan is to go to my own straights, and that is my stand up game. Yeah, you know, so it was one fault, but I have to prove it now that uh, that fault was not one one mistake, but. It's like a little mistake, you know. The second time is going to be better. <laughs> well, I mean, I believe it because you got a, you know, you got a pretty good fighter coming ahead of you. You got Jessica Middleton, and you know, you you dealt with one BJJ specialist already. So now, how how are you and your team preparing for another person that's pretty decent on the ground, like to avoid the submissions? Um, well, now we just train on not go to the to, to not um, go to the ground. And to work on my distance and, and still work on my boxing skills and my, my stand-up skills. And, you know, it's not that I, I don't want to go on the ground because I still have skills on ground too. But now I, I notice better what, uh, which position and what's the best for the fight and for me. So not go in there with, uh, like, no thought or no game plan, but now I have a game plan. Now I know my opponents. Because last time I didn't know my opponents. It was like the fifth opponent in one week. So, you know, we just have a we have we don't we don't have a game plan, but now we are, and now we train every single day for this game plan. So now it's a whole different game than the last time. And yes, yes, guys, it's a good opponent, but she can, she comes there to fight, and that's what I like. So uh, I think that it's going to be an amazing fight the 16th of November. Yeah, I think that is going to be an amazing fight. And I'm also going, you know, I've covered three of your fights already. You just you just don't know I did, but, I, you know, I cover them and put them on my channel. And this is another fight. <laughs> 
Yeah, I have. I, I've covered three of your fights, and I, and I put them up on the channel. Um, because, I, I mean, I, I really enjoy, like, I enjoy watching you fight because, uh, you know, you fight with a kind of intensity and a passion. You know, it's almost like you're, you're very, very hungry when you get in there, and it's like you're trying to devour that person. And um, yeah. I, I don't think that, you know, definitely people with, you know, your opponents who got MMA experience more than you, I, I don't I don't think they should underestimate you because, you know, I think you'll go in and I, I actually got you winning this particular fight because I think you're going to be more aggressive and, you know, I think you're going to finish the fight. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan at heart, so you don't have to say that because, uh, yeah. you know, I think that you definitely got the tools. I mean, so let me ask you, is MMA going to be, are, are you going to continue to do MMA or are you going to do a mixture of kickboxing and MMA? And as long as I'm in this division, I don't gonna give the belt away. So kickboxing is not something that I now stop with it because I still have the belt and the belt stays with me till I retire. So um, next year I have to defend my belt, but the MMA part is also gonna be something that's in my system. And uh, I'm gonna do both. I do kickboxing and I'm gonna do MMA. So um, yeah, it's gonna be. Um, the the the, le the last or, or the last or the the next year is going to be really uh, busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you're definitely going to be a busy woman. So yeah, who do you want to fight next? Let's just let's go with kickboxing, okay? Who do you want in that ring right now? Like, if you could take him tomorrow. Well, I don't have some somebody that I. That I have a name that I want to fight with because you know, and in my division, I already fight against everyone, and the biggest names still I I I win from. So yeah, I have not not a really like a particular game name that I want to fight with, but it's gonna be nice because now uh, Tiffany van Soest is the the glory champion, and. My last uh, or my my third world title, I defend my title against her, and I I uh, I won from her. And maybe in the future it's going to be nice if the Bellator champion can uh, fight a Glory champion. So maybe you you never know. But yeah, I'm still not like I want to have a fight against her or, or her because every woman in this division I already win from. So. It's nothing that I. Uh, it's nothing special. Uh, well, I I I gotta disagree if you're saying that you're not special. Because let me tell you, you you you've, you've cleaned out your whole division basically is what you're telling me. And uh, yeah. So do you have problem with people like you know actually accepting fights to fight you? No, no. Because if I was in that position, I I do the same. So and. Like a couple of years ago, I had also the same. I I fight some girls who are um, who have who have a belt, and I not. So yeah, I, it's not that I'm mad that some people want to fight me because I know a lot of people want to fight me or want to have my belt. So yeah, that's that's the that's the, that's one of the issues that a world champion have. If you have a, a world title, then it's more difficult to have that world title and to defend that world title. So. I know my position and I know it really well, but I know that if the only thing that motivates me is that I have now this belt and I'm looking at it because it's in my uh, in my sleeping room and it's <laughs> for sure not going to leave my sleeping room. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a special thing to me and also for Bellator, you know, Bellator is a... Uh, is in my eyes the best organization in in the whole world, and I have that belt. So, yeah, that's that's like a dream come true. I mean, yeah, you probably got people that want to fight you, but I'm pretty sure you got some people that don't want to fight you, like because they 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 might not want to get beat by you. I mean, I I, I I don't know because you know you're going in such a dominating fashion, and you know you 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 really have a lot of technique, you know. And I want to ask you, um. What do you do? Like, like, see, how do you how do you go from training kickboxing to like you know training Muay Thai? Because it, it, there's a difference between the two, right? Uh, yes, 
but my uh, specialty is uh, more like the kickboxing, more like the K1 style. Mm. Okay. Because Muay Thai is really like with elbows, and it's a it's a whole different game. And K1 is more uh is more aggressive, more like low kicks, more boxing skills. So K1 style is more my style. Oh, okay, okay. So I guess you're not a big fan of the elbows, then. <laughs> Uh, yes, I do, but I <laughs> never really fight with like the Muay Thai style. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, you know, I mean, when you take this fight, when you get into this fight with Jessica Middleton, I guess the elbows are going to be on the table. <laughs> I guess you're going to be able to use them all you want to. <laughs> I think so. I think so. I I I know that everything's going to be uh, everything's going to be used at night. So uh, <laughs> can't wait. Yeah, now I, I heard you miss. I heard you mention uh, uh, JJ. You know, I heard you mention her, uh, J- um, J- Jan Jacek. You know, yes, she's got an extremely good takedown defense. I mean, so her ground game isn't isn't that special, but her takedown defense is like outstanding. You know, and she's is, she's able is. she's able to avoid those takedowns. So, are are you guys actually working on a lot of your takedown defenses as well? For sure, for sure. That's uh, something that's uh, a big part in my. Uh, in my um, in my uh, in my preparation for this fight. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I had to believe it. So I'm gonna ask you a couple more questions, and then you know, I ain't, I'm not gonna hold you up for the whole morning. What do you think okay. that? How do you think the outcome of this fight is gonna end? Of course, the win for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know in which round or in what with what thing, but one thing is for sure that I'm not gonna lose that time. Okay, okay, you know, because uh, you know, yeah, she she actually fought a couple of tough opponents. I think she lost to uh, Emily Dakota, and she lost to um, um, McFarlane, and she lost to those two yes. fighters. And I actually watched, I covered both of those fights, and you know, she put up a good fight, but uh, yeah, I mean, she just came up short. But I guess yeah. with I guess with you, she's gonna come up short again. Then is that that's what you're telling everybody? Yeah, that's it. You know, uh, that's what I say. I don't see, I don't watch. To, uh, to, I don't see that uh, her last fight that it was a lose, you know, because she came there to fight, and in this in this uh, in this game everything can happen, and you know she she's a, she's a good opponent, and that's what uh, what I like. She came there to fight, and that's something that I also do. So I know for sure that's going to be a, a good fight. Okay, I, I believe you. I'm gonna take your word for it, and everybody listen to this. Uh, <laughs> Podcast, you better take her word for it, or else you know she can come get you. You know she she's strong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I love I love the confidence. I, I love it. It's oozing. I love it. Um, now you got some great names on your kickboxing resume. I mean, you got you know you got Wyman's on there. You got a Lindsay Haycraft. You got Tiffany Van Seuss, and all those are strong opponents. I mean, you. I mean, you you got a lot of experience. Who do you um? How do you who 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 is your actual coach? That, that's preparing you to win all these bouts. Uh, well, Mucet, Mucet Akram is my uh, is my head coach, and um, yeah, he's he's uh, in in every the last six years, I never ever lose a fight with him. So um, yeah, he's he's uh, yeah he's he's my head coach, and everything that he say, I believe. So uh, yeah. He's a he's a really really good coach. He's not a coach that gives me all the the credits and oh you're doing good and oh you're so good and oh you're so fast. No, he just give me my he just say to me my my weakness and something that I have to work on and that's what keeps me motivated and that keeps me strong, you know. And that's also why I'm not always satisfied with my fights because I know that I can fight better. So. Yeah, he's for me the the best coach in the world. Okay, well, uh, there's a reason why you do so well. So yeah, he's the best coach in the world. I'm I'm just gonna say it with you. That's the best coach in the world yeah. you got right there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, what about your parents? Like, are are your parents like you know like when they see you on TV or when you call them, are, are they particularly happy about you fighting? Well, my mother she don't she don't watch my fight, and now. For sure that I'm gonna do this MMA. She don't want to. She don't want to, to see because 
she don't like the whole MMA thing. But my father, yeah, he, he put me on judo and he put me on kickboxing and he really liked this, this fight, this fighting game. So my father always, always watched, but my mother not. Oh, come on, mom. Come on, you got to tell your mom. She can't be a Debbie Downer now. She got to be positive about this. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. The first, the, the, you know, when I started the judo, she was like, okay, judo is okay. But then I then I want to start kickboxing. She said, no, 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 I'm not going to watch. And now that I want to start MMA, she for sure don't like. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Well, but that's okay. That, 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 you know, mom, mom blessed the world with you. So we, we, get, we get to watch your fight. So, hey, you yeah. know, she just got to be positive. Well, um, yeah, for sure. Well, let me ask you uh, before I before I sign off: Is there you know in, anybody anybody you want to mention? Any you want to talk? You want to speak about sponsors or? Um, no, I just want to want to say, want to say um, that you know it's not about sponsors; it's about, it's about the people who support me and the third, the five fans, my family, my husband. Um, that's all the thing that is important for me, and that that I want to prove that also this game, this MMA thing, is also my thing. And um, yeah, that's what I want to mention. I want to thank all the five fans for following me and sending sending me uh, messages to support me. I want to thank my family that always was there for me, and even in, even in bad times that I have no time for them, they still do the best to support me and of course my husband who was there for me uh, as the caregivers in all times with all my training and he support me with all my with all my fights he goes with me so yeah i'm i'm so blessed and lucky that i have this this these people around me who give me the support to do what i'm to do what i love and uh yeah that that's all so thank you wow wow and she said it all hey denise <laughs> yeah one last thing, if you can do a drop for me, if you can say this is this this. See, I'm getting nervous saying this, boy, because I'm I, I can't. I'm still I'm still getting over the fact that I'm actually speaking to you right now. On the, this this is crazy, but um, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, uh, you know, fans, you know, fans are like, you know, uh, I mean, we like watching you, and I don't know my following. They're gonna watch this fight because I'm gonna actually have them all going to the fight. <laughs> so, but uh, but if you could, could you do a drop? Could you say like? This is Denise Kills, and you're watching Coach Shelton Harrison. Yes, Coach Shelton Harrison. Oh, man. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> Coach Sam Harrison? Yeah. Like that, or do I say it wrong? Yeah. Yeah, it's wrong. Uh, Coach Shelton Harrison. <laughs> Coach Shelton Shel- Harrison. Shelton. Like- Shelton. Shelton. Yeah. Shelton Harrison. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yes. Hi, this is Denise Fields, and you're watching Coach Shelton Harrison. All right. All right. See, usually it's, it's always the foreigners to get my name wrong, but you proved me wrong. Now, that's two people now. So, <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate you spending 30 minutes of your morning thank with you. me. And you definitely thank have a good you. evening. You and the husband, y'all be blessed.